case 1, a1 b2 minus a2 b1 is not equal to 0. In this case, we get a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2. Therefore, the pair of linear equations has unique solution. Case 2, a1 b2 minus a2 b1 equals 0. In this case, a1 b2 equals a2 b1. If we write a1 by a2 equals b1 by b2 equals k, where k is some constant. Then a1 equals k a2 and b1 equals k b2. Substitute the values of a1 and b1 in the equation 1. a1 x plus b1 y plus c1 equals 0. We get, k a2 x plus k b2 y plus c1 equals 0. This implies that, k into, a2 x plus b2 y, plus c1 equals 0, make it as equation 4. It can be observed that, the equation 4, that is, k into, a2 x plus b2 y, plus c1 equals 0. And the equation 2, a2 x plus b2 y plus c2 equals 0 can both be satisfied only if, c1 equals k c2. That is, c1 by c2 equals k. If c1 equals k c2, any solution of equation 2, that is, a2 x plus b2 y plus c2 equals 0 will satisfy the equation 1. a1 x plus b1 y plus c1 equals 0, and vice versa. So, if a1 by a2 equals b1 by b2 equals c1 by c2 equals k, then, there are infinitely many solutions to the pair of linear equations. If c1 is not equal to kc2, then any solution of equation 1, will not satisfy equation 2, and vice versa. Therefore, the pair has no solution. We can summarize the following facts from cross-multiplication method, for the pair of linear equations given by equation 1, and equation 2 as follows. When a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2, then we get a unique solution. When a1 by a2 equals b1 by b2 equals c1 by c2, then there are infinitely many solutions. When a1 by a2 equals b1 by b2 is not equal to c1 by c2, then there is no solution. For solving a pair of linear equations by this method, the following steps are considered. Step 1, write the given equations in the form of pair of linear equations that is, a1 x plus b1 y plus c1 equals 0, make it as equation 1. A2 x plus b2 y plus c2 equals 0, make it as equation 2. Step 2, taking the help of the diagram. Write equations as, x is divided by, b1 c2 minus b2 c1, equals y is divided by, c1 a2 minus c2 a1 equals 1 is divided by a1 b2 minus a2 b1. Step 3, find x and y values, provided a1 b2 minus a2 b1 not equal to 0. Please note that, step 2 above, gives you an indication of why this method is called the cross multiplication method.